In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create eight options infographic slide in PowerPoint. And this is how the slide works. When I click, you can see here, I've made this colorful oval shaped design, eight option slide in PowerPoint. And you can put the option one here, and then you can add some detailed text. And in the center, you can add the headline. And if you have not subscribed to my channel PowerPoint University, please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon. You can join my Telegram group with the help of this link. And if you like to contribute to my channel, you can do it through PayPal or Patreon. The link is provided in the video description section. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide and change the background to any gradient fill background. Then go to view, enable the guides, go to insert shapes. From the basic shapes, I'm going to choose the oval shape, draw the oval shape by holding the shift key. So depending on your requirement, you can increase or decrease the size. Make sure to align center, align middle, shape outline, make it no outline. Then I'm going to insert eight point star. For that, go to insert shapes. From the stars and banners, you can see this is the eight point star. Draw the eight point star again by holding the shift key. You can give a different color and you can see here the small orange point just drag this inside and again this also align center align middle all right so it looks like this or if you want you can just increase the size it doesn't matter but anyway so go to insert shapes select the rectangle draw the rectangle okay this much size shape outline no outline shape field you can give any color and then align center align middle so you can see here we have designed uh, I have put uh, this uh, rectangle something like this press ctrl D to duplicate again align center align middle and then hold the alt key and press the right arrow key alt one two three times can you see here exactly on this part it has come again press ctrl D to duplicate again alt and the right arrow key ctrl D again alt and the right arrow key so we end up uh, uh, a design something like this where I'm going to split this oval shape into eight equal parts all right and then I don't want uh, the star which I've created so let me just delete that one so go to home select selection pane you can see here the star can you see here select that one and press the delete key okay that has been deleted let me just close this one now I'm going to insert one more shape go to insert shapes and from basic shapes i'm going to choose this particular octagon can you see here just draw the octagon again holding the shift key shape outline no outline shape fill you can give any light color all right again this also align center align middle and i need to rotate this one this particular point should come exactly in the center okay so i can just hold this one and rotate it like this again zoom in and make sure that this is properly aligned okay for example if it is like this okay the, it will affect our design at the later stage so make sure that this is exactly in the center you can see here now you can see it's exactly in the center so once this is done again depending on your requirement how big you want or how small you want this particular shape uh, you can uh, reduce the size or increase the size if you want again hold the control shift key you can reduce the size a little bit so once this is done I'm going to insert one more shape the oval shape again draw the oval shape by holding the shift key okay shape outline no outline shape will give some different color align center align middle and send this to back so you can see here I have created one two three uh, different shapes which I'm going to cut into pieces all right so now what we need to do is press ctrl a all right or if you want you can just increase the size also a little bit of this oval shape I think yeah so now I'm going to select all the shapes by pressing ctrl a all right then go to the shape format merge shape hit the fragment so we end up getting something like this you don't see anything just delete this internal part you can see here again I don't want these lines I'm just going to delete these lines as well and I'm just selecting this part and hit the delete key you can see here I 
and here generally you don't see this one there is also one more shape which we have made it can you see here so i'm just selecting this shape and fill this color with white you can see it looks something like this then go to insert shapes i'm going to add one more oval shape in the center add the oval shape align center align middle all right right mouse click go to format shape you can give some gradient fill here shape outline make it no outline and only two stops i'm going to make it the one stop i'm going to make it somewhat gray color the other stop i'm going to make it a white color and this one i'm going to give a 3d background 3d effect so go to the effects 3d top bevel and i'm going to choose this one so it end up getting something like this all right now it's time to select all these shapes and make sure that it is all uh, the fill color can you see here the fill we need to start changing the fill color all right so let me just choose any random color any color of your choice you can start choosing from this one i'm just choosing some random colors you can see here any color of your choice you can start adding it here but make sure that the color should be uh, prominent it should look nice to the audience all right so you can see here and some other color maybe this is already there this is already there anyway let me just put this green all right so you can see here uh, the design looks something like this let me just remove these guides and then if you want to give a shadow effect i'm just going to select all these shapes the white only all right press ctrl d to duplicate you can see here change the color to black increase the transparency ctrl g to group it hold the shift key and reduce the size a little bit align center align middle send this to back so you can see here some shadow effect has been created and then what you can do is you can add the text onto this particular uh, colors and if you want to give one more outline so i'm just going to select these shapes you can see here press ctrl d to duplicate move it aside shape outline i'm going to give some gray color shape fill i'm going to make it no fill all right so let me just move this one here and then i'm starting putting something like this can you see here just give some gap and put it at the top one by one all right so you can see here and just make sure that it is properly aligned so this one will come here let me just select these two as well all right so you can see here our basic design is ready now it's time to add some text so go to insert text box i'm going to type option 01 center align put it here all right and make the font as white and then go to the shape format text effects transform and select this one you can see here like this and rotate it a little bit and if you want just make it bold okay so you can see here just align we need to do some proper alignment all right so then press ctrl d to duplicate you just need to rotate it you can see here if it is too uh, you know uh, outside of the box you can just reduce it like this also and then you need to align it again one by one like this okay so you have got some space here so this also will go down a little bit and then select the text press ctrl d to duplicate and again rotate it here so like this you need to fill the text in all the boxes and then you can add some detailed text here in the center also and then in the middle you can add the headline and center align make it bold align center align middle 
So you can see here, this way you can simply create some very good and very creative designs in PowerPoint.